Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. It is the holiday season. I'm going on one of those bed and breakfast tours here in Cape May. I'm going to visit probably maybe six, seven houses. Hopefully I can get to most of them. Uh, it's a beautiful tour. This place is mobbed. It took me 45 minutes to get a parking spot. Uh, but anyway, come along with me. Let's check out some bed and breakfasts and all the festivities going on here tonight, the holiday season in Cape May. Come along with me. I kid you guys not, somewhere between half an hour and 45 minutes to find a parking spot, but little did I know there was a holiday parade going on just when I arrived in town, so that explains a lot of the parking issues. I'll show you guys a little bit of that parade, but I didn't hang around long because, well, I had to get going on this self-guided tour of the uh, bed and breakfasts here in town that are decorated beautifully, and uh, obviously I used up a good chunk of time just looking to park. The official name of this tour is Christmas Candlelight House Tour, and it's a three-hour, like I said, self-guided tour, but you can hop on a trolley if you don't feel like walking. Walking's great, especially on a night like tonight. It's a little bit foggy, but it was very comfortable out, which I guess explains the fog. It was kind of warm out. And uh, you can also hop on a trolley, which we're going to do also. That brings you around to all the different uh, bed and breakfasts. They also give you a map at the very beginning to, uh, again, it's all self-guided. There's really no rhyme or reason. Uh, it's a good idea to sit down for maybe five, ten minutes and check out the map and pick out your route so that you make the most of those three hours that the tour runs. I hopped on the trolley to visit our first Victorian home, and that's the Emlyn Physic Estate and Carriage House, built in 1879. Dr. Emlyn Physic, his mother and his aunt, three of them and seven servants. This home was built for a wealthy doctor and two of his family members, so there were three people living in this huge house with seven servants. That's a pretty good ratio if you ask me. The trolley was a lifesaver. I know the lighting is not that great tonight in the trolley, but it's a lifesaver considering how much time that I lost uh, trying to park. And uh, it, it was about half a dozen trolleys that went around the entire loop, which was several miles long. And uh, if you missed a trolley, no big deal. There's another one coming within, uh, within I'm going to say, three or four minutes. Many of the homes that we're going to visit include uh, some snacks or refreshments, including some hot chocolate or warm cider and some cookies and cakes. The tickets to this tour cost about $40, and the trolley is included in it, and uh, they give you a wristband, and they check every time you go into a home for the wristband, just to make sure that you paid for what you're about to see. The Physic House, which we're about to enter, is Cape May's only Victorian house museum. It was designed by renowned architect Frank Furness in a stick style, that's what they called it, stick style. A simple but radically different style from the rest of Cape May's architecture. The Physic House Museum is decorated in historically accurate fashion for the season. The Carriage House, which we'll see in a moment, was the first building erected on the grounds of the Emlyn Physic Estate. And again, bear in mind, this is a museum and these decorations are pretty much accurate for the time. When we visit other bed and breakfasts along this tour, we'll uh, see things that are a little bit more modern, but not much. Yeah, and you'll see them all through the house. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going Apparently, to it's good luck to hide one pickle ornament in a Christmas tree and whoever finds it should make a wish. I wish my family, friends, and subscribers a happy holiday season. That no, that is a yeah, um, These homes had no electricity when built, and I don't know if you noticed on the Christmas tree they actually had candles, which was commonplace back then, but certainly not safe. All of the lighting fixtures used either gas or oil. Again, back then, it seemed the norm, but today, not very safe. Speaking of which, uh, later in the video, we're going to visit the original neighborhood firehouse. Yeah. 
For those of you not familiar with the area, Cape May is at the very southern tip of the Jersey Shore, and uh, it's about an hour south of Atlantic City. During the summer season, people flock from all over to uh, visit these beautiful bed and breakfasts here at Cape May. Very hard to get a room and quite expensive as well. I guess this is where they sat down to their pop tarts and hot pockets. I would find those red ribbons very annoying during my meal. I didn't either. That's a different uh, stage. Yeah. Yes. I didn't have that. That's so interesting. And the little things on the tables, they're salt shakers, which are called salt cellars. <laughs> Now, although my time is limited, I'm spending a lot of time in this particular home because, well, it is a museum and I find a lot of these artifacts fascinating. This was the lack of luxury back then. Uh, but the homes that we're going to be visiting later in the video, we're not going to spend this much time. We're just going to walk in and out. And uh, there's also a bar that we're going to visit that was pretty hopping. Well, it's a did you see the cover in the hall? Yeah. 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 With that, it's the crust of it's in between there. Though. It's not the crust. Yeah. This is the carriage house, the first building erected on this property, and it's where the doctor kept his Lamborghini. I'm just kidding. That's where the carriage and horses were kept. Again, you can do this tour on foot or take the trolleys. The trolleys were quite popular tonight and they were oozing with holiday spirit, as you'll see uh, throughout the video. And I think eggnog had something to do with that. I apologize for the dark video, but I think the audio is well worth it. Next up on our candlelight tour here in Cape May is the Montreal Beach Resort. 
It's not in Montreal, it is on a beach, and it certainly looks like a resort. It doesn't look much like a Victorian inner breakfast, but it had a hopping bar and they were offering free refreshments in the lobby. Let's check it out. Oh, really, really setting in pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was inevitable tonight, though, because it's pretty warm. Yeah. Is it being part of the Christmas party? I could have definitely stayed at the Montreal Beach Resort all night. That place was hopping. And the problem with a tour like this is you've only got three hours, so you can't really enjoy one place for too long. Unless, of course, you just want to forget the tour, but I couldn't do that. I'm making a video. Oh, I said it before and I'll say it again. What I don't do for you guys. Our next stop is Angel of the Sea Bed and Breakfast. B&Bs are starting to pop up, but they're all made of old wood, so they burn really good and very fast. Um, but someone actually decides to buy that in a tax. Let's check out a couple of rooms here at the Angel of the Sea Grand Victorian Mansion, which was originally located on Franklin Street. It was split into two homes and then moved to the corner of Ocean Street and Beach Avenue in 1881. It was moved again in 1963 to its present location where we are today. Next up, the Bedford Inn. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to the New York channel and give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Ah, now this is an in-bedroom that I can definitely get comfortable in. Do me a favor, knock on the door when breakfast is ready. By the way, no eggs, please. One year we should do that.
It's funny, you can tell everyone who's on the tour, they have a map in their hand and they're trying to figure out which way is the ocean so they can orientate themselves. I've always considered myself to have a bird brain and I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just pretty good at navigation and in my head, I always know where the nearest ocean is, even in the deserts of Nevada. Somehow I just point my chin up and realize the nearest ocean is in that direction. Next up, the Dormer House, built in 1900. This colonial revival style cottage was built by the York brothers for John F. Jacoby and boasts smooth round columns, large dormers, and a simple color scheme. 16 columns of garland and bows glisten with holiday cheer and welcome you. The warmth of the Grand Hall and open staircase are accented by a 15 foot tall tree and all its trimmings. With the joyous feeling of Christmas throughout, the Dormer House welcomes you to the inn. Well, I'm actually moving on foot now because I think I can move a lot quicker than the trolley now that my uh, time is coming to an end here. Here we have the Mainstay Inn, built in 1872. Built as a gentleman's gambling club, the Mainstay is considered to have one of Cape May's most authentically restored interiors. It features 14-foot ceilings, all original chandeliers, and richly ornamented furniture that was custom-made for the clubhouse. For the holidays, the inn is decorated with traditional garnish including yards of garland, wreaths, and lights, and Christmas trees throughout. Finally tonight, as our time runs out, we're going to take a walk over to the original firehouse here in the neighborhood, as well as the church. On our way there, I'll just show you some uh, neighborhood Victorian homes that are just beautifully decorated from the outside.
This is the old Cape May Firehouse. Let's check it out. And here we have the Cape May Episcopal Church built in 1866. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying these holiday videos here on the New York channel. If you are, just click on that thanks button to help support the New York channel. A couple more holiday videos coming on the channel this year and uh, there's going to be a lot more next year because these videos are proving to be very popular so I thank you for that and uh, if you'd like to help support the New York channel click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I do appreciate your support. Click on that thanks button get a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks guys. Happy holidays. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.